Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you how I make a very simple all-purpose cleaner. I use vinegar and water but I'm really not a fan of the smell of vinegar so I use pine needles to disguise the smell and it works so well for me. Now before I used to use the rinds of oranges but I am trying my best to use stuff that's either in my garden or that's in my area. So when I'm picking from the pine tree just make sure I'm not picking any new growth. And if you don't have pine trees in your garden or in your area and it's not suitable for you to pick the pine needles off, then something like rosemary or thyme works really well. And all I do is whatever jar I have available and I pack the jar full with the pine needles. And then I pour just simple white vinegar over, making sure as much as it can, it covers all the pine needles. And I'll buy the vinegar in bulk, so I'm just reducing the waste as much as I can. I'll buy about a five litre bottle and that will do me at least a year. And all that's left to do then is to sit and wait. A little bit of patience <laughs> goes a long way. And I'll leave it for about a month or six weeks. Really, the longer you leave it, the stronger that the pine smell will be. And this is some that I had done about a month ago. And I just cover it with a little bit of cheesecloth. You obviously don't want any little bits of pine needles in there. It's gonna clog your spray. And I do about half of vinegar and half of water. It's not an exact measurement. And then that's it. And for years, I used to use every cleaner available for every different section of the house. And this general cleaner does all of it. And I can safely say that the smell of vinegar is pretty much about 99% diminished. So I know that with a general cleaner, a lot of people can be skeptical of the vinegar because of the smell. But all I smell is the wonderful pine needles. and it cleans windows, it cleans countertops, cleans the bathroom. And if you want to add a little bit more oomph in there and to make it a disinfectant, you would need a high concentrate of alcohol or of something like hydrogen peroxide. So that's it for this week, a really simple video. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. And as always, chat below in the comments or over on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.